Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop Generative Fill AI in your render image. So let's get started. For the first step, uh, we need to create a selection uh, around the outside of the model because we want to create an environment outside this model. Uh, this is the raw render uh, image. I'm going to use uh, this image, which is already uh, done in the uh, Photoshop, which is done by post-production process. Okay, now let's create a selection. I already saved a selection. Uh, you can create a selection by using this tool. Let's load the selection that I already saved and select my selection and click OK. Now we need to create, uh, sorry, we need to click on this uh, generative fill. And now you can type any uh, test you want. I'm going to type forest and lake. And click on the generate. Well, look at this. AI has done very pretty good job for us. You know what? I always wanted to render exactly like this scene. Now I don't have to worry anymore because I have Photoshop AI. Uh, AI has also provided some variation for us. Let's click on the second variation. Okay, this is the second variation. Uh, I don't like the back side pretty much. Now let's click on the third one. Okay, this one is a very good effect. Okay, I like the first one and uh, the third one. If you don't like, you can click on the generate icon to create more variation. Or you can type new test on the prompt and click on the generate. I'm going to leave the way it was and click on the generate one more time. Now look at this second result. This is much better than the first one and very outstanding. Now let's see the second variation. Okay, that's look great. I don't know about you, but I'm going to love this uh, for sure AI. Now let's uh, see the third icon. Sorry, third variation. Okay, I like this all. If you want to save, you can save by clicking on the save button. Now let me show you another result, which is I already created by uh, writing some prompts. Okay, this is the another result. I got this result by typing the forest and house in the prompts. This is great, right? Now let's click on the second variation. Okay, this is getting better and better. Now let's click on the third variation. Okay, all the results are very, very satisfying results. So let me save all of this. Okay, in this result, the sky above this building is pretty clear. Let's add some realistic cloud. So let's make a selection first. Now let's click on generate fill and tie realistic cloud. And now we need to click on Generate. Okay, the result has a beer, but I don't like this first one. So let's check the another variation. Click on this second variation. Okay, let's check another variation. Okay, the third one. Let's check the last one. Okay, I think I like the second variation. So let's click the second variation and save it. Now let's create some water deck in this lake. So we need to make some selection on it. I have already made a selection. So let's uh, reselect it. Okay, now click on generate fill and type 3 Y water deck. And click on generate. Okay, we got the result that we want, but it doesn't create three water duck. Let's check other variation. Uh, click on the second variation. Uh, this is only one. I don't like it. Let's click on that. Okay, this one is pretty good. Okay, I like first and second. So let's save this all. Now suppose we want to get a wide angle shot of this Rena image or any other photo. We can do it too. So first use this crop tool and extend the image. You can extend as much as you want. Now we need to select the Y region area, but we need to be careful. Let me tell you it. So let's press Ctrl A to select it. 
Now we need to subtract the original image area, but we have to add a little bit area of this original image. In this way, we will get a better result from the AI. Otherwise, we won't get the result that we want to. Now click on generate fill and don't write any test on it and click on generate. The AI will automatically calculate and create a best result for us. So let's wait for it. Okay, we got the result. This is very, very great. I don't have even words to express how much I like it. So let's uh, check the variation. Okay, all the images very good. And let's check the one. Okay, I like all the three image. I hope you like it too. Now let's create a dog on the front lawn. So make a selection. To get a perfect result that we desire, we need to make a perfect selection. Otherwise, we won't get the result that we want. Now let's type a dog and click on generate. If the selection is not perfect, we won't get the result that we want. Uh, you need to keep it that in mind when you use this AI. Okay, the result has appeared. Let's check the variation. Okay, this dog look like very crazy. Let's check the second variation. Okay, look like this dog doesn't have one leg. Let's check the touch. Okay, I like this third one. So let's save it. Okay, look like the dog is chasing something. Uh, let's add a rabbit uh, for him to chase. It is more natural. So make a selection. And click on generate fill. And type Y running rabbit. Uh, y rabbit running. And click on generate. Okay, we got the result, uh, but we need to select the suitable one. So let's check the variation and click on the second variation. Okay, let's click on the third one. Okay, I like the first and third. If you like the result, you can save it. So as you can see, we can do everything that we want to do with our image by using this uh, Photoshop AI. I recommend that you should install this uh, Photoshop AI in your PC too. And you don't have to do many Hawa for rendering. You just have to do a raw render and then come to the Photoshop and tell the AI what you want in your render image. Believe me, you will get an amazing and better result. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.